Are you bored? Stuck at home? Tired of staring at a screen? Do you find yourself asking, What kind of bird is that? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then try out bird watching, the hobby that's been around literally forever. You might be thinking to yourself, But I've never been bird watching before. Here's three good reasons why you, yes you, can become a bird watcher. Reason number one, you don't really need any special equipment to go bird watching. Binoculars, cameras, and spotting scopes are all helpful tools for bird watching, but aren't necessary. Honestly, half the time birds are hidden from view. Learning bird calls and songs is a fun and simple way to get to know your feathered friends. Reason two, you don't have to be an expert. Oh, hey. Yeah, last year I went to the Galapagos, the Amazon, and Madagascar. Studied all the songs and calls before I went, of course. And I brought my life list up to 4,247 species. This might be what you picture when you think of a bird expert. Truth is, experts probably started learning about birds right in their own neighborhood. No traveling required. Part of the fun of bird watching is learning a little bit at a time. So if you look out your window and say, That bird is small and yellow. Hey look, a turkey. I don't know anything about birds, but that one's really pretty. Congratulations, you're a bird watcher. Reason three, birds are everywhere. The Rhode Island Division of Fish and Wildlife, in partnership with the University of Rhode Island, just completed collecting data for the Rhode Island Bird Atlas 2.0. This project involved biologists, field technicians, and over 200 volunteers. The goal? Document all of the bird species in Rhode Island across all seasons and habitats, and figure out how our bird populations have changed, for better or for worse, since our first atlas efforts in the 1980s. By knowing which species are here and the habitats they're using, we can make informed, thoughtful conservation decisions to help our birds in the years to come, particularly our species of greatest conservation need. To do this, we split the state up into 165 blocks. Volunteers visited each block and recorded all of the birds that they saw or heard there between 2015 and 2019. A total of 242 bird species were documented across Rhode Island. That means that no matter where you live in this beautiful little state of ours, you can bird watch. Don't know where to begin? There are lots of free resources to help get you started, like the All About Birds website or the free Merlin app from the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. Or you could go old school and grab a field guide. Starting with the guide for New England or Eastern birds will help you get your feet wet identifying local birds right in your backyard. Remember, it's easy to be a bird watcher. Start by looking out your window or sitting on your back deck. Maybe even the front stoop. Pretty soon you'll be bird watching while checking for the mail. Or walking your dog. And even while brushing your teeth. You might even start bird watching while playing the piano. Well, you get the idea. Lastly, join your friendly wildlife outreach team for one of our fun bird walks held throughout the year. Since 2017, the Wildlife Outreach Program has been leading free bird walks at wildlife management areas, state parks, schools, libraries, land trust properties, you name it. We love welcoming bird watchers of all ages and experience levels to our Come Birding With Me events. You'll learn how to identify birds and about what the Division of Fish and Wildlife is doing to help conserve bird populations and habitat in our state. 